this video, I'm going to show you how to solve an absolute value inequality. Um, there's a couple definitions for absolute value. Uh, one definition would be the value of a number without regards to its sign. And another definition would involve uh, the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. So for example, if you take the numbers uh, 10 and negative 10, the distance that 10 is from zero on a number line is, is well, 10. And the distance that negative 10 is from zero is also 10. So we're going to focus on that distance idea and, and look at solving the absolute value of 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 14. Um, instead of the distance from zero, what we're looking at is the distance between 2x and 8 is greater than or equal to 14. So I'm going to plot 8 on a number line. And it's not negative 8. Uh, when you do a distance, say the distance between uh, 2 and 7, uh, you, you do 7 minus 2, and that's your distance. So it's not a negative 2, but I still did minus 2. You subtract for distances on a number line. So 2x minus 8. Uh, so where's 2x? Well, 2x could be over here, or 2x could be over here. But what we know is this distance between them this distance between them is more than 14. So really, 2x has to be falling somewhere out here, including that spot. 2x could also fall somewhere out there. So what we're looking at is uh, a situation where our value for 2x, it could be way the heck out here or way over here. All right? It's got to be more than 14 units away from 8. So to set this up now and actually solve this inequality, we're going to use the same idea. 7 minus 2 to find the distance between those values. The distance here, you take the one over on the right and subtract the number to the left. So 2x minus 8, and that has got to be more than or equal to 14, greater than or equal to 14. The other inequality that we've got is when you start at 8, and check this distance. So the distance between 8 and the possibility that 2x is to the left has to also be more than 14, greater than or equal to 14. So you would do 8 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 14. And that gives us 2x is greater than or equal to 22. Divide both sides by 2. You're out of room here. Alright, my other one was 8 minus 2x. to uh, subtract 8, negative 2x is greater than or equal to uh, 6, and divide by negative 2. Remember, when you divide an inequality by a negative, let me just work this way, run out of room, uh, you divide by a negative, you have to reverse the sign. So I've got x is less than or equal to negative 3. So I've got these two inequalities as the solution to our original absolute value inequality. Now, they have to be joined with either the word and or or. And to decide whether this is an and or an or inequality, I would look at my original picture that I've drawn here. Uh, our places where 2x could be is either over here or over here. Right, so it's an or inequality. It's, it's two different spots that, that they, they don't overlap. Uh, so our, our answer would be x is less than or equal to negative 3, or x is greater than or equal to 11. Now, to graph that, number line, less than or equal to, so of course we're going to fill it in, shade to the left, greater than or equal to 11, fill it in, and shade to the right. All right that's one example of solving an absolute value inequality uh, where we're using the idea of distance between the points, or distance between these two values. 
in order to set up our two inequalities that we need to solve. We're going to run through a couple more examples of absolute value inequalities to, to solve. Uh, the first one was a greater than uh, problem, greater than or equal to. This one's less than, but that's not really the main difference I want to look at. It's actually this plus here that's going to matter. Uh, remember, we're using the idea of distance, and we're saying that the, the distance between these two values is less than or equal to 12. But the thing we have to keep in mind when we're doing a distance on a number line, that's always represented with a subtraction. Remember I said 2 and 7, the distance would be 7 minus 2, and that gives us our distance of 5. So we have to take this addition and rewrite it as a subtraction. So that's x minus negative 8. The absolute value of that is less than 12. So the values that we're taking the distance between are negative 8 and x. So x could be over here somewhere, or x could be over there somewhere. But what we know is the distance between them is less than 12. So really, if this is 12 units right here, and 12 units right here, x has to fall somewhere between those two endpoints here. So x is really somewhere in between. And it actually couldn't possibly be the endpoints because it's not an equal to, it's just a less than. Uh, so somewhere in here is where x falls. Uh, we'll use that idea of distance now, x minus a negative 8 is less than 12, and our other inequality is negative 8 minus x, distance you're always doing a subtraction, is less than 12. Okay, so this is really x plus 8 is less than 12, subtract 8 from both sides, you have x is less than 4. And here we have uh, negative 8 minus x is less than 12, so add 8 to both sides. And we have the opposite of x is less than 20, and we'll divide by negative 1, and we get x, and remember when we divide by a negative, we have to reverse the sign. x is greater than negative 20. Okay, so we've got our two inequalities. x is less than 4, and x is greater than negative 20. Uh, and we have to decide how to connect them. Do we connect them with an and, or do we connect them with an or? Once again, I'm going to look back at this original picture here. This original picture, the possible places where x could fall is between uh, uh, these two endpoints. And so it's really, it has to be both. It can't be out here. It has to be between these endpoints. So that's an and situation. It has to be greater than this number and less than that number. So it's an and connection. So x is less than 4 and x is greater than negative 20. Usually actually we would write that as a compound inequality uh, with our smallest number to the left. 20 is less than x. 20 less than x and x is less than 4, so our final answer, like that, a compound inequality, negative 20, sorry, negative 20, negative 20 is less than x, is less than 4. Okay, uh, so that was a different situation where the main difference was the plus. Now obviously this less than is, was different than the first example, but the big deal here is the plus. We have to write that as a, as a subtraction or uh, in order to represent a distance between two values. Uh, very quickly, I'd like to look at these two. We've got x minus 7 is less than negative 1. The absolute value of x minus 7 is less than negative 1. Since we're talking about uh, the distance between uh, a point and 0 or the value of a number without regard to sign, uh, we know that we can't have a negative number inside or as a result of taking the absolute value. You will never have a negative when you take the absolute value of something, so it can never be smaller than negative 1. There's really no solutions to this. And this one is just the opposite. Uh, if we're, the absolute value of this is always positive, and if the absolute value is always positive, it's always bigger than a negative. So this would be all real numbers for a solution. So that's something to just keep in mind as a couple of different problems that you might see uh, when looking at absolute value problems.